What is up guys and welcome back to the Hammer Dance YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about analytics. Now I know to some of you your analytics probably seem um, irrelevant and you don't really care and you don't want to learn how to use them. Uh, you just want the views, you just want people coming in, you just want to start growing. Sadly, you need to learn how to use your analytics because honestly guys, if you learn how to use your analytics, you can use it to your advantage and it helps boost your views. No matter what platform you're on, whether you're on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, whatever you're on and you're trying to grow on, you want to be taking a look at your analytics, diving into them and figuring out like what your community wants. Um, for me, it's, it's, it's more YouTube. I look at my YouTube analytics a lot and I'm like, okay, so what videos are doing well? What times were doing well when I posted videos? What titles work? What thumbnails work? These are all super important things and you guys need to realize that. So we're going to just take a dive. I'm going to show you guys my analytics. I'm not going to hide anything. You can see exactly what's going on behind the scenes on my channel. I want to use it to help you guys um, and show you how I look at my analytics. Now, I'm not some crazy analytic professional, um, but I do have a basic understanding of how this works and I want to share that with you guys so that you can, you know, better your channels as well. So we're going to jump in and do that. But before we do, guys, let's give a thank you and warm welcome to the sponsor for today's video, Owned.TV. Owned.TV is the place to go, guys, if you're looking for some fresh new graphics for your stream. Whether you're on Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook gaming, you'll find something that's a perfect fit for your channel. They offer full themed overlay packages, which are great if you're trying to give your stream a complete makeover. But let's say you're just looking to pick up some new alerts. Don't worry, because they've got you covered there too. You can find single graphics such as alerts, banners, panels, and logos as well. The best part though about most of these overlays is that they are completely modular, so you can tweak the assets and colors to match your brand. If you're looking to take your stream to the next level, guys, please be sure to check out own.tv using my link below to support the channel. All right, guys, so here we are. We're on the Hammer Dance Channel's uh, analytics page, and I'm going to basically break down for you guys what I look at the most um, and how I figure out which videos do well and which ones didn't do so well. And that, like, determines, you know, where I'm going to go going forward. So the first thing I want to point out to you guys, though, is right here, this box is probably the box that you're going to just glance at the most. This is important. Um, this is your real-time box. It's updating live all the time. Um, so I'm constantly checking when I'm checking my analytics or just checking my YouTube channel throughout the day. This is the box that I'm looking at, right? So we have this is our real time box. This shows our subscriber count. Um, this is live. So if you subbed right now, it'll show 291 right there. Um, this is your view count. So we're getting about we've been sitting for the past week. We've been sitting between 8500 and 10K views every 48 hours. Uh, so about 5K views per day. Not bad at all. We're definitely growing uh, from where we were at. So that's awesome. And then here, this is a like heat map, uh, little bar graph showing how many views you're getting between certain hours of the day. Um, so if we look here, we can see that basically between like 10 a.m. and like 3 p.m. is a really good time for me. And also between. Oh, yeah, it's the same over here as well. Yeah. So basically between like between like 10 a.m. and like 4 p.m., 5 p.m. is like really good time for my channel that means that the people that are watching my videos are active on the platform between those times which is cool um, so that's that's some good information that we can use to our advantage so if we're posting our videos let's post them sometime between 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. and we know that most of our viewer base is gonna be on the platform at that time because that's our heat map visual best time for our videos that makes sense guys very simple things like that you're gonna get out of your analytics so I hope you know that that helps you um, and then you can also click see more down here right so if we click see more this is a just a bigger version of that box it's showing us all of our videos and, and the views that we're getting on them uh, my OBS streaming settings video obviously is doing the best lately out of everything we've got 90 views just in the last 60 minutes and we are pretty much averaging around 1700 views per day on that video which is pretty cool um, and again up here another heat map showing the timestamps of when we're getting the most views it looks like our lowest time is like 12 a.m. to like 5 a.m. pretty typical stuff so we're gonna close out of that next we have the box right here this is the overview box this is pretty cool um, this is showing over the last 28 days so right now my channel is at 123 K views over the last 28 days which is up 99.7 K more than usual uh, the channel kind of blew up in the past month or so uh so you can that, that that's visual right here saying so it's 99.7k more than we normally get so that's pretty uh pretty pretty drastic for us here so we're doing really well so thank you guys for the support i appreciate it um our watch time hours this is how many hours people are spending watching your content we're at 6.6k and as you can see before last month we were at 
literally 1K. So we're 5.6K more than normal, which is sick. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. Um, and our subscriber count, we're getting about a thousand subs per month, which is sick. And here's our ad revenue. Um, any of this stuff you can click on and it will show in the graph down below. Now, views, you can see here, um, the, if you see the little um, play button down here, it's actually showing you that that was a published day uh, when you published a video, which is also very, very cool. All right, guys, so let's dive into the reach tab a little bit and I will show you guys a little bit about what this stuff means in here. So your impressions are basically anytime someone sees a thumbnail of one of your videos. Um, that, that leaves an impression on someone on the platform. So you're scrolling through and you were watching one of Harris Heller's videos and my video popped up on the side as a suggested video. That's an impression. Um, that just being shown to you and you seeing that thumbnail is an impression. So in the past 28 days, I've left 1.3 million impressions on people on YouTube, which is pretty cool. It's a little bit less than I did last month. Uh, I'm not sure why. I think a lot of people went back to work. Um, but yeah, it, that, that's what an impression is. So, and your impression click-through rate, for those of you who don't know, is your click-through rate is when someone sees that thumbnail, right, of your video and then actually clicks on it. Um, so basically this is a percentage of people who see those impressions and then actually follow through and click on one of those videos and go into your video. Um, and obviously you have your views here again and your unique viewers, meaning, um, you know, people who aren't the same person watching over and over again. Engagement. So this is where you can see your engagement. As I can, last month was an insane month for us. So right now you're going to see that all this stuff is in a slight decline. I think it's because a lot of people did go back to work this month, um, but we're still doing great. And I still really appreciate all the support. The channel is blowing up and I love it. Couldn't be happier. Thank you guys. Um, but yeah, so this is your watch time and in, in your hours. Um, this used to be minutes, but now it's hours. Thank God, because converting minutes to hours before was just absolutely awful so thank god we have this in hours now um, you can see how many hours of your content people are watching and this is your average view duration this is a very important um, statistic for your videos this kind of kind of moves it along in the algorithm and pumps it out to more people my average view duration is like but it depends on the video but it's between like three to six minutes all the time um, so your average view duration is basically how long people are watching your video before they click off of it or, you know, they skip through it, but how long of the video they're watching before they leave and go watch either another one of your videos or someone else's videos. So you want that to generally be as high as you possibly can because that helps move it along in the algorithm um, and definitely helps push your video to like other people, you know what I mean? Um, so that's pretty cool. So let's go to the audience tab now. The audience tab, as I said before, this is unique viewers, meaning not the same person. These are, you know, different people watching your uh, videos. Average views per viewer, this is how many views you're, you're averaging per viewer. So like one viewer is typically watching 1.3 of my videos. So they're watching almost one and a half videos every time they come to my channel, which is good. I like that. That's a pretty cool thing. Um, this is another heat map down here showing when your viewers are on YouTube. And kind of like we just figured out before, uh, most of my viewers are on YouTube between the hours of 12, uh, 10 a.m. or 12 p.m. ish to around 5 p.m. Um, we could we saw that from the heat map earlier um, and really on Sundays, Mondays and Tuesdays, they are pretty damn active. But all throughout the week, as you can see here, it's pretty it's pretty steady. Uh, they're all active around those times, which is which is cool. Um, and then you can see your bell notification stats right here. Uh, percentage of your total subscribers. So this is how many people have the all notifications turned on for my channel. Um, and this is who turned on all notifications and enabled YouTube notifications on their phone. Um, so you can see those stats here as well. And then you have your rev your basic revenue tab uh, just showing, um, you know, how much you're making just, just ad-wise playing on your videos. I'm uh, not making too much, but I'm doing that on purpose because I don't have um, non-skippable ads enabled. I don't really believe in it. I'm not doing this for the money. I'm doing this kind of just to make a database for you guys to have something to reference to. Um, so I'm not too too crazy about it. So I didn't want to enable ads that you guys can't skip um, as of right now. So that's why my revenue is a little low for 30 days, but it's okay. And then your CPM, for those of you who don't know, um, your CPM is basically what you're getting paid per thousand views um, for ads on YouTube. Um, so every thousand views, I make about $6.42 um, on YouTube ads. That's, you know, just keep in mind, this is just YouTube ad revenue. Um, so that's basically where we're at with that. Um, and yeah, that, that's, that's basically a little dive into your analytics and what they do. So you want to kind of take a look at, let's go back to the heat map page right here. One of the most basic strategies you guys can do and like 
that, that'll definitely help you out is you got to take a look at this. This is one of the most important things that I started looking at way early in the beginning and it helped me so much. Make sure you see when your viewers are on YouTube and the times. Okay, so if I know that my viewers are on between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. or 10 a.m. and 5 p.m., whatever it may be, you want to start posting your videos to accommodate to those times. So you want to post your videos at 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. so that it has five to six hours of your viewers being right on the platform, looking at your content, watching your video. Um, and that helps it move along in the algorithm as well. And then that pushes it to new people and those new people see it. And it just, it, it, it's a snowball effect on YouTube. I realized it's a snowball effect. That's why my, um, my best settings OBS video blew up. Um, and it actually blew up my whole channel. Like we just, we're growing insanely fast now because of that one video took off three weeks after I uploaded it. Um, so that's, that's just how it works. Um, and then another strategy you guys can do is like, let's, so let's go back, right? So this is an example right here of a strategy that I did that worked. So when I saw the best OBS streaming settings video taking off, I immediately was like, okay, cool. This is what they like. Uh, apparently I'm decent at making these type of videos and people like watching it. I immediately made a best OBS recording settings video. And guess what? That's my second best video. It took off as well because I knew that if I made another video revolving around the same topic, as the video that just took off, that that video would also take off with it. You know, that video that was taking off the OBS streaming settings video basically took the recording video under its wing and said, let's go, boom. Free views, dude, free views. You guys gotta take advantage of this stuff. You gotta look at your analytics and see what's going on here. Um, that's basically how it works to, you know, and it's not, it's not a bad thing. You're basically just maximizing the amount of exposure you get. Um, by playing off your analytics. So you guys have to start doing that. Trust me, it, it's worth it and it's going to help you in the long run. All right, guys, that about wraps it up. I hope that you have a better understanding now of what your analytics can actually do um, for you and for your channel. Uh, there's so much growth potential there if you just learn how to dive into your analytics and pick out the important things and, and figure out when to post videos, figure out what videos are doing good for you, um, figure out what times, like, it, it, it all comes together when you start to look at your analytics and I, I didn't do this in the beginning um, and over the past six months I really really tried to um, break down my analytics and it helped a lot um, so hopefully you guys take my word on that and start doing it for yourselves but anyways guys if you enjoyed this video please be sure to hit that like button that lets me know that you enjoyed it consider subscribing to the channel and turning on those post notifications so you don't miss next time I post a video and if you want to hang out with me on my live streams I stream Monday Wednesdays and Fridays and Saturday mornings on twitch.tv slash hammerdance. I will put a link to that down in the description below this video. All right, guys, so that's all from me. I want you to keep your hammers up. I'll see you next time.